So I thought I'd keep things short today, being that it is Labor Day and a statutory holiday here in Canada. We um, recognize Labor Day here in Canada the first Monday in September, but it is recognized in many different countries around the world at different times of the year. So I thought I would just kind of touch on it quickly today, being that it is a very historic day. Um, the origins of Labor Day here in Canada started back in the late 19th century. That's when industrialization was really taking hold here in Canada and in the United States as well. A lot more industries were popping up and that was affecting jobs. Even back then, um, workers were starting to be replaced by machines, believe it or not, even as early as the 1870s. And so workers, knowing they were easily replaced, were more hesitant to speak up if they were working in unhealthy working conditions, if they were not making as much money as they needed to make, or if um, they were working very long hours. So Toronto printers were one of the first to really say, you know, this is enough. We've had enough. We're going to go on strike, even though strikes were illegal at that time here in Canada. Toronto printers went on strike. They were looking for, among other things, a nine-hour workday. Uh, well, that really paralyzed the publishing industry in Toronto. And George Brown, who was a liberal and a prominent liberal at that in that time, and was also the editor of the Toronto Globe, said, hey, you guys can't do this, you can't go on strike. So he brought in workers from other neighboring towns and cities around Toronto to kind of cover off for those who were striking. And he also was the person who led the move against the workers in terms of getting the leaders of that strike put in jail and charged. Well, they couldn't put everybody in jail, so a lot of other people who were following this movement and supporting it decided to march through the streets of Toronto and Ottawa and many other places. And so that really uh, was brought to the attention then of Conservative Prime Minister Sir Johnny Macdonald, who took the side of the workers and he passed the Trade Union Act. So that decriminalized unions, first of all. And the strike leaders were all released from jail. It did take some time for real change to happen. Many workers still did lose their jobs, unfortunately, uh, but the nine-hour movement, as they called it, did spread to other Canadian cities and to New York City back in 1882. And then in 1894, Sir John Thompson, who was the Prime Minister at that point, declared Labor Day a national holiday. So it took a while, but it was the people and the workers themselves who made it all happen. So it is a very important day in Canadian history, Labor Day and history around the world, in fact. And that's our history lesson for today. Class dismissed. Now I'm going to go on the air here at MyFM and talk about it a little bit more. Thank you for listening and for watching, and I'll talk to you again next weekend.